gonna go, I'm gonna go find all the wood you stole from me. When I wonder, well I know I could have gone, I could have gone and got some more wood from that tree. And if I'm walking, yeah I know there's a new wood. Why isn't anything a square? I am very confused and a little bit scared. Uh, uh, I think I walked down this path over here. We don't have time for an intro now? Well, anyway, breaking news! A local citizen has gone missing! He Apparently he has gone to an unknown realm called Earth! Anyway, this realm called Earth is not square. He is panicking and has no food or drink. He has sent us this video by using a camera. Oh, uh, oh, uh, is this thing on? Yes, yes, I think so. Um, hello, my name is Village Number 24. I have been sent to another room, and I have been stuck here for nearly a day. I have built a house over here. It is a very cozy house. I have also built a fire over here. If you re if you're getting this message, please. The lovely numbers are two number nines, and no another number nine, a number six, a number seven, two number forty fives. A slice of cheese and a large cup of coffee. If you won the today's lottery, don't come to us. Go to the bank for the fifth time this year. Okay. This is the end of tonight's episode of Villager News. Join in next time, which is tomorrow. Goodbye. Ooh, Ooh yay. I wonder if I caught any animals from my animal trap, aka the fireplace. Oh. My. God. I found a cow. I think he's a cow. I think he's dead. Uh. Yay, that cow was very, very tasty. Hmm, I wonder what else I can eat. Hello? Is anybody there? Um, no? Oh, okay. Wait a second. If, if no one is there, then how did you speak? I'm a big fat birdie. No, you are bloody well not. And if you don't speak now or come out, I will come over to there with my axe and chop you into little pieces. And then I will eat you too, like I did with that cow over there. Okay, I will come out. What were you doing behind there? I was searching for food because I am very, very hungry. Now well, I will ask you the same thing. Why are you here? It looked like a good place to put my camp, okay? Jesus. 
There is a village just up north from here. Follow me if you want to come. Can I bring my axe? Yeah, sure. Welcome to the village. It is very nice. But does it get very cold up here in up north sometimes? Oh my friend, it is always cold up north. Okay, but can I buy a house here? And if I can, how much will it be? One emerald. There you go. You want and buy a book maybe. I'm going to go and check out my house just up there. I will see you later. Goodbye. Goodbye. I think I read an audio book. By John Steinbeck. Read by Gary Sinise. A few miles south of Soledad, the Salinas River drops in close to the hillside bank and runs deep and green. The water is warm, too a slip twinkling over the yellow sands in the sunlight before reaching the narrow pool. On one side of the river, the golden foothill slopes curve up to the strong and rocky Gabilon Mountains, but on the valley side, the water is lined with trees, willows fresh and green with every spring, carrying in their lower leaf junctures the debris of the winter's flooding, and sycamores with mottled white recumbent limbs and branches that arch over the pool. On the sandy bank under the trees, the leaves lie deep and then steadied it. And he brought the muzzle of it close to the back of Lenny's head. The hand shook violently, but his face set and his hand steadied. He pulled the trigger. The crash of the shot rolled up the hills and rolled down again. Lenny jarred and then settled slowly forward to the sand, and he lay without quivering. George shivered and looked at the gun, and then he threw it from him, back up on the bank near the pile of old ashes. In feet, Slim's voice shouted, George? Where you at, George? But George sat stiffly on the bank and looked at his right hand. Oh, oh. Hmm. I might go to the library and see how my new friend is doing. I might buy another book from him. Hello. Oh, it's you. Would you like to go out for a few drinks later on at the pub? Yeah, sure. 